Some of New Jersey's displaced workers are building toward a brand new start, preparing for jobs in the biotechnology sector. They're the first class selected for a training program created by Raritan Valley Community College and a local biotech company with federal support. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The kinds of knowledge and work experience that these students bring to class are remarkably diverse, but their paths converged, first at the unemployment office and then, after a rigorous screening process, in this brand new teaching laboratory at Raritan Valley Community College. Um, coming from the accounting area that I was involved with for about 30 years. And you know how things are going nowadays, the job situations. I spent uh, about 22 years in uh, the telecommunications field. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my job, it, it varied over the years from a regular craft worker to a, manage, a manager, actually. Each of them had his or her own reasons to contemplate a complete career change, even if it would mean starting at the entry level. And it turned out that Imclone Systems, recently acquired by Eli Lilly, anticipated expanding local production. They needed new lab techs. They wanted them trained a certain way. They worked out a program with the college. The college had the idea that they could apply for a WIRED grant, which is a workforce investment grant through the federal government, and a collaboration was born. The college and the company were partners in designing the curriculum. Twelve weeks here, guided by a Princeton Ph.D. graduate from one of the world's top molecular biology groups, will lead to 12 weeks of on-the-job training. Because the students are uh, being trained to be biotechnicians, there's a heavy biotechnical component to it. So while they're being well-versed in chemistry techniques, the main focus of the course is on manipulation of cells, cell culture, uh, microbial work, DNA, uh, and protein uh, separation methods, those kinds of things. It's uh, funded for two classes. So after this 24 weeks, we start over again with another class. And we hope then that the college, once the funding is complete, that the college will take this program and will incorporate it through our continuing education. So we will offer it to the public as a program. It's a good field from what I understand to get into. It's definitely a boom. It's a big thing. Um, and it's going to help people in the long run, you know, which is another thing that I'm trying to do in this lifetime too. So, Patrick Regan, NJN News, Branchburg Township.